Hey everybody, it's Dr. Barrett. Welcome to Point Counterpoint. I am here uh, with Dr. Painter. And today we are gonna talk a little bit about some tips for traveling. Um, we're all kind of coming out of COVID. Everybody's looking forward to having a summer of travel, seeing family and friends or taking vacations that have been put off for so long. And as we all know, traveling can worsen migraines. So I'm gonna start us off by talking about my favorite travel trip travel tip for migraine. Um, I'll tell you what it is and explain a little bit about why it works. So um, melatonin honestly is my go-to for traveling because we seem to always be going to other time zones. I live in Colorado. There's not much to vacation on near here. It seems like all my family and vacation destinations are in another time zone or across an ocean. So melatonin, I just want to talk a little bit about what it does, because I know a lot of people feel like, oh, been there, done that, tried that. But I think once you understand a little bit more the why, you might be willing to give it a second chance. So melatonin is um, the chemical that your body secretes when it starts to get dark. Okay. So light is the most powerful regulator of our circadian rhythms, day night cycles. And as it starts to get darker, our melatonin goes up and it's almost like um, the starting gun for all of the processes that put us to sleep. Like if you imagine all the runners in the race being the chemical processes inside your body that make your body sleep, melatonin is like the starting gun. It kind of kicks everything off, gets everything going. So many people will try melatonin expecting it to behave like Trazodone or Ambien or Valium or something like that. And it doesn't. And then they think, oh, well, this doesn't work for me, but it's not supposed to. And that's actually a good thing because we know that all of those stronger sleeping pills, what they're really doing is suppressing the natural electrical activity that your brain goes through at night. And that is not a good thing. Your brain has to go through those electrical cycles in order to do all of the healing work that it's normally doing at night. So I would encourage you to uh, turn to melatonin when you're traveling. It just, especially when your day night cycles are messed up from jet lag, it kind of gives your body a little boost to entrain to your new rhythm, the new place that you are. So I recommend typically a pretty low dose, start with maybe three milligrams of an extended release, and you can take up to three of those at night if you need. I'll put a link in the uh, below the video. Uh, so that you can make sure you can get a good one. But um, start with one, see how that's going. If you need two, that's fine. If you need three, that's fine too. Try not to go above three though, a little too much. It might start impacting your body's own ability to produce melatonin. So that is my top travel tip for summer. So stock up on some melatonin before you hit the road this summer. Yeah, that's a, that's a great one. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about diet. So a lot of people I think are just super afraid of, um, going on vacation. And then they're like, I don't have control over what I'm eating. And I know that the foods are going to be contributing. And one, I just want to encourage everybody to let go of the stress around how you're going to eat when you're on, tri on trips, because there is something magical about leaving your home and going somewhere else and just enjoying yourself. Right. And, um, that, that drop in cortisol and stress levels will actually change our neurochemistry and the neurotransmitters that are being floating around in there. But when we're constantly holding on to the stress of, I can't eat that. Cause that's going to trigger me or, Oh, I can't eat that. Cause I'm afraid that's going to trigger me. We're bringing that stress with us. And so it's easier said than done because I've been there and, you know, obviously you want to make good choices when you can with your food. So, you know, but, but a lot of times we can't like, we're at the mercy of the people we're with or, at, you know, eating out. And so you just do the best that you can. Now, that being said, a lot of times the reason that food triggers us is because of the inflammation that it causes in our gut and in systemically. And so then that can impact our migraines. And so there are a couple of things that I like to have on hand as kind of a rescue remedy. Melatonin is one of them. Um, but I also really like, I've, and I've talked about, you know, combinations of like ginger and turmeric before, or curcumin is another variation of turmeric. Um, and those are very anti-inflammatory and can be really helpful to take. So in an overabundance for me, especially if I feel like I'm on the edge because the travel and the jet lag and, you know, the stress of like getting on the plane on time, 
and I feel like, okay, something is about, something's building. Like I'm about ready to have something not fun happen. Then I'll just kind of start taking them just pro proactively. Um, but you can also take them reactively or, or knowing, okay, well, I know that I'm not going to be eating normally. So I'm going to start on this like 30 minutes before every meal and just take this as a way of kind of kickstarting that anti-inflammatory process. So, um, so that can be really helpful. And then the other thing is a product called mega IgG 2000. So this is, I know this is a, um, it's a bovine, uh, derivative of a, basically it, it goes in and it mops up the, the inflammation in the gut. Right. And so it, it can be very, very helpful in reducing the impact of inflammation from food in our gut when we're traveling. So I like to kind of combine that along with the curcumin and ginger. Um, I find that that mixture works really well in a lot of my clients and then me personally as well. Uh, especially if I know that I'm going to be exposed to, you know, gluten is a pretty big trigger for me. So if I'm going to be eating gluten. I know I want the mega IgG on board. And so you can take that before every meal as well. And that really just kind of helps to kind of short circuit that inflammatory process. And then that along with, I just have this maybe not quite realistic expectation that that combo is going to magically cure me and just letting go of that stress and just trusting that these things are going to help whether they knew or not. I don't know, but placebo there's power in placebo. I tell you, and then just releasing that stress. Uh, I actually just went on a women's retreat this last weekend and I ate everything I should not have, right? We had <laughs> cheesy stuff and gluten and sugar and all the things you think are completely no-nos for migraine people. And I just was like, you know what? Caution to the wind. I'm just going to dry myself. I did my little cocktail and I ate everything like four servings of each and thoroughly enjoyed it and did not have a single migraine. So yeah. it is possible. I know it's just like that release of stress can be such a big thing. It's just so much easier to say than do though. I, I totally get that. Um, but I think that would be my tip, the mega IgG 2000, when you're going to be exposed to something food wise that, you know, is going to cause problems for you. And then in combination with some good anti-inflammatory herbs, like the curcumin and turmeric, I mean, ginger. Oh, and one other thing that I want to mention too, this is pretty common. I think, um, we, we tend to not be super aware of our hydration status when we're traveling, right? I, well, I should say that I know that I don't, a lot of my clients don't, but that can be something that can be really helpful. So you can get, and, and I'm not just talking about water. I'm actually talking about electrolytes. Dr. Barrett and I have talked a lot about electrolytes. It's one of our favorite go-tos to kind of get started with. Not only is it supplementing our bodies with essential um, nutrients that we need to kind of help maintain a healthy blood pressure and those kinds of things, but it's also also helps our body actually become hydrated. So you can drink a ton of water if your body doesn't absorb it then you're not hydrating yourself. So the electrolytes actually help your cells pull the water in where it's needed. And so um, having those little electrolyte on the go sticks and making sure that you're drinking one or two of those a day. So usually each stick will go in like 12 ounces of water because usually we're a lot more active. We're running around or we're out in the sun, we're doing more things. So getting at least 24 ounces of electrolytes plus you know some additional water and things can be really, really helpful especially on the plane. The plane is so dry. It really dries us. So when we're starting out, um, in, you know, traveling and we're starting out from a place of dehydration, and then we're not intentionally trying to make up for that, that can set us up for some really not awesome times during our vacation. So that would be another really big thing. Or, or I know a lot of people, if you're not flying, but you're driving, a lot of people intentionally restrict fluids so that they don't have to stop to pee all the time. I get that. Um, but if that's you, then you need to make sure that you're hydrating as soon as you arrive at your destination with some electrolytes, really making sure that your body is absorbing that water. Love it. That sounds awesome. Hey, can you tell us how to buy this, uh, thing you were talking about? What was it? Mega IgG, mega 2000? IgG 2000. Mega um, IgG it'll be, 2000. Cool. maybe you okay. can throw it in with, I don't know. Do you do full script, right? Uh -huh. Full script. Yeah. So it's on full script. So you okay. can just drop a link for your, your peeps. I'll drop a link for my peeps. And, and okay. so we'll, we'll post them in our various uh, outlets, wherever you're happening to watch this, we'll have a link in the comments below for you guys. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. All right. Well, thank you so much for being here today, Dr. P and everybody happy travels this summer. I hope these tips Enjoy. help you get through and have some wonderful getting back to life. Good memories. All right. And take care everybody. Bye.